everyone! I hope you're having an amazing day today. If you are new to my channel then my name is Alice Louise and if you are coming back for more then thank you so much, it really does mean the world to me. So today is going to be a very relevant video because as it's coming into the winter and I don't know if you're like me, you might not be, but I tend to get a little bit unmotivated and especially as I work from home so I have to try and keep that momentum going in order to achieve all the goals that I need to do. So I thought I would do a video on how to feel motivated to work. And for me specifically, as I say, I work from home, but this also can apply in the office, but it's definitely very, very good if you are working from home and trying to keep that motivation going, this will definitely help you. So let's get straight into it. 10 tips on how to get you to work better at home and how to get you to feel motivated to work. So start off with number one. Number one is to set small goals. So I set these goals in small periods of time. So what I like to do is, for example, if I have to edit a video and I'm feeling really unmotivated, what I'll do is I'll say, OK, I'll put a timer on my phone and I will do 30 minutes. Once that 30 minutes is up, if I'm not feeling like I want to do any more, then I can have a break and do something different. Now, as I say, if you are in the office, then this may be that you give yourself these little time restraints in order to do each of the tasks that you have. And once you've achieved task you might be able to go and get a coffee or um, might be able to just stand up from your desk and give yourself a stretch and that kind of thing so you can apply that to both but at home if I do those 30 minutes nine times out of ten when I've actually started doing it I really want to carry on with it and I think that will happen to you too because you feel like you've started it you're doing something and you're actually quite enjoying it if you enjoy your job of course uh, if you don't then that's going to be a whole nother video but yeah, so set these kind of small time goals. And once you do that, you will be a lot more motivated. Worst thing is procrastination. And that's something I'm very guilty of. And I tend to do mindless things just to avoid actually getting the work done. So doing this 30 minute interval or an hour or however long you feel you can do, even if it's just something like 15 minutes to start with, most of the time you'll find that you will be able to carry on that task and actually quite enjoy it. Okay, number two kind of links in with that is get rid of distractions because one of the most distracting things is like I have here my phone next to me the problem is it's very very easy we've all done it is to start scrolling mindlessly scrolling feeling really unmotivated trying to get any form of entertainment you can I'm guilty of it with my iPad I might start watching something a series that I'm watching and my mindset will go into a very unmotivated stance and I'll just want some sort of entertainment to keep me preoccupied and making me or so I avoid doing the tasks that I need to do. So try and get rid of those distractions, turn your phone off if you can or with mine and a lot of my work is on my phone so I need to keep it nearby but I will put it on silent, I'll put it on flight mode or I will if I can just turn it off. If you're really bad put it in another room or something like that because <laughs> honestly it is the biggest form of stress. I don't know if you've had it before where you're literally scrolling, you're watching videos and it's like an hour that's gone past and you've just been watching these most ridiculous videos of people like cutting soap in satisfying ways and all of that. I mean, <laughs> so I highly recommend getting rid of those distractions, whatever they may, may be for you. Number three. This one is a bit of a weird one, but it really works. And that is to actually sit there and think about your future happiness. So sit there and kind of visualise what, how you're going to feel after you've achieved these tasks, because there is nothing better than that feeling of having your checklist, your to-do list, and you ticking off those tasks and knowing that you have done those things you need to do. There's something so satisfying about that. And so try and visualise yourself on times when you've completed your tasks and how it makes you feel. I find this is a really, really great tool to get me motivated because I want to have that feeling. And I love that feeling. Having that visualization of how this is going to make you feel afterwards will just give you that little boost that you need. Number four, this is to set yourself smaller, more realistic tasks. Having, setting yourself goals which are achievable. Not so, I mean sometimes it is actually really good to do really easy tasks so you feel quite satisfied and almost, if I had to for example film a video I will tend to chunk that into small little bits like you know even as simple as get your camera out set the lighting up and all of the little bits because it makes it so much easier and once you get into the rhythm of it 
you will start to just flow and it will really really flow nicely most of the time <laughs> so yeah definitely that is something that's really good is to keep those goals achievable so i was always really guilty of writing massive to-do lists and it would be so stressful because i physically wouldn't be able to do them all and that really demotivates you okay so number five and i've put this at number five because there's a five second rule which was created by mel robbins now mel robbins is like a motivational speaker and she has a book out called the five second rule which was such a life changer so basically i mean i'm not <laughs> if you want to learn about it pop over to mel robbins five second rule or the book or anything like that and read through it but from what i perceive from it is if you have a task to do for example let's just make it that you need to get up early in the morning because you've got lots to do and you need to get up at seven o'clock but you're not very good at getting up when you wake up if you give yourself more than five seconds your brain will kind of say ah uh, you like make up loads of excuses of why you don't need to get up whereas what you need to say to yourself is one two three four five get up because five seconds, anything longer than five seconds, and most likely you're just going to stay in bed and you're going to hit that snooze. So it's the same with doing a task. For example, if you know that you want to do a workout, when you suddenly have that thought, oh, I need to do a workout, only give yourself a maximum of five seconds to make that decision to go and do it. So, you know, you can go five, four, three, two, one, get up, go put your shoes on. She explains it a lot better than me. <laughs> But it's a really, really great thing with regards to motivation and motivation to work. So if you have a task to do or a goal to complete, then you just give yourself that five second, no more than five seconds. So you go five, four, three, two, one. Don't let your brain have any chance to push you out of doing what you're meant to be doing. Okay, number six, which is something I actually did today, and that is watch motivational videos. I love popping onto YouTube and searching whatever it is that I'm feeling or if I want to understand about something, I will always go onto YouTube and I will look at what other people are doing, tips and tricks, what works for other people, and also, as I say, motivational speakers, TED Talks, and that massively helps me and it really gives me a kind of a real boost of motivation and almost like an excitement. So when I learn something new and something that I can apply to my work, it gets me so, so excited. So I highly recommend checking out videos on YouTube. Also, if you're more of a book person, then maybe grab some motivational books. On my bookcase behind me, I've got quite, quite a few good ones. There's one called The Reason Why. I think there's Black Box Thinking, which is really good as well. But there's some really good books that you can get your teeth into just you know give yourself 10 minutes have a little flick through to get that motivation again or if you're more of a people person then maybe you could get together with a couple of other people that are in a similar job to you a similar career or anything like that and brainstorm together because that's another really good way of getting that motivation back seven is do not spread yourself too thin. We have all been guilty of this by <laughs> literally having about 20 things that we need to do and we kind of dot from one room to the other think I'm okay I've got to put the washing in oh wait no I'll clean up that cup while I'm there oh I need to go and you know send that email off and all of those kind of different things now instead of spreading yourself too thin focus on one task that you have focus on each task that you need to do and put all your attention into that one thing because if you're spreading yourself too thin you're not going to get things done in a way that's productive so it's much better to try and sit there and go through the thing that you need to do and focus wholly on that. Okay, so number eight is positive affirmations. You probably may have heard of affirmations before and what the great thing and the scientific kind of research behind it is the fact that we are what we think we are and we are what we tell ourselves we are. So for example, if I'm saying to myself, oh, I don't feel like it, oh, I'm so lazy, I'm so rubbish, you're gonna become that because you're telling yourself that you're that. Whereas positive affirmations will push your brain and kind of transform your way of thinking to a much more positive way, which means that you will be able to get your tasks done. And so using positive affirmations and saying to yourself, you know, I'm really good at what I do, I enjoy my work, I, you know, things like that in the morning, especially in the morning, I think it's really good. But it just gives you that boost of motivation and it just switches your brain into that more positive way of thinking. 
Okay, so number nine, and my personal favourite, <laughs> is to celebrate your wins. So every time you do a task or, you know, you could give yourself a collection of tasks and once you complete those, you can then enjoy either, you can go and get yourself a treat, you can um, have a self-care afternoon, go and have a bubble bath, or give yourself 10 minutes to read your favourite book, something it doesn't matter what it is however big or small you would like it to be it's great to celebrate those wins because it makes you feel great and it encourages you to then complete more tasks always make sure that you're looking after yourself because self-care is so so important and if you are not celebrating those wins you're going to become almost resentful of what you're doing you're going to become demotivated and you're also just not going to want to do you, you you're not going to get that great sort of enjoyable feeling and so you'll start to think well what's the what's the point really so make sure that you are celebrating yourself celebrating your wins however big or small they are number 10 someone told me this once and it just it has stayed with me for so long and they were actually talking about depression and they were saying that sometimes simply just getting out of bed is a massive achievement so do not be hard on yourself if you are having one of those days where you feel so unmotivated and you simply can't get out of that funk that's fine just make sure that you use that time in a good positive way so for example giving oh sorry giving yourself a self-care evening looking after yourself maybe you know doing something that you enjoy and then you can wake up fresh the next day and get going on it so don't be too hard on yourself when you are hard on yourself all that's going to happen is you're going to go into that spiral and you're going to tell yourself you're not good enough you're going to tell yourself you know all these things that are then going to create these horrible low feelings inside of you and you're just you're not going to feel motivated when you have those kind of feelings so make sure that you are looking after yourself not overworking yourself because that's an easy thing to do getting into that kind of habit and you're going to end up resenting what you do and not enjoying it so definitely sometimes getting out of bed is a massive achievement yes it is <laughs> so yeah that is now i've got honestly hundreds and hundreds of tips on how to feel motivated for work but I do not want to bore you so I might do a second part to this um, let me know if it's something that you're interested in but I really hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and comment and subscribe to my channel because that would mean the absolute world to me pop that notification bell on because it will mean that you are alerted to each of the videos that are released every single week and I try to put out a minimum of one a week also pop over to my Instagram where I pop pictures up every week of all the little activities and adventures that we get up to and also there's some adorable pictures of my dog so if that doesn't encourage you to go over there I do not know what will. <laughs> I really hope you maybe have a little bit more motivation or maybe you've got a few ideas that you can put into your routine in order to get more motivated and I would love 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 to know what is it that you do for work let me know in the comment section below are you do you work from home do you work in an office do you work you know whatever industry I'm really interested I'm so nosy about what people do so <laughs> pop that down below and any questions that you have also pop them there but I will see you very soon in the next video and have a wonderful evening look after yourself remember don't be hard on yourself lots of love and see you very very soon bye